Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at your past, present, and future energies in love, and a little bit about the person that you might be dealing with. What are the energies between you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot resonate with every Cancer watching. So let's jump right in, to see what we have for you. For Cancer, Spirit, Angels, Guide, messages, please, guidance, insight for Cancer for cancer wherever they may be spirit what do we need to know what do we need to know for cancer regarding love at this time Okay, let's see what we have for you, Cancer. In the past position, we have the Three of Swords. Present position, Judgment. And the near future, the Four of Pentacles. Well, Three of Swords in the past is telling me that there's been some difficulties that you've experienced. Um, heartbreak, disappointment, Judgment in the present is telling me that there's probably someone having to make a judgment call. There could be a resurrection, a revival, an awakening that someone's experiencing. And I say someone because both of your energies are here, Cancer. You and the person that you have been dealing with or will be dealing with. But the Four of Pentacles in the near future tells me that someone could be holding on to something, not ready to let go of something, guarding, protecting, holding back. So we'll see what that's all about. On your side here, we have the world and the nine of wands. Yeah, I feel like you are being, the word I'm getting is tentative. Like you're being very careful about this next step that you're taking. Um, I feel like you're in a very, I don't know, it's almost like you have your guard up, aren't so easily trusting of others, have been hurt. I feel like you've been hurt um, by what's happened recently or even if this could be in the past, like the distant past. But I, I, I feel like whatever has happened is affecting you now as you move forward. Um, it's almost like you, you're you moving forward because you have to. It's like you don't really want to have to move on or start a new cycle or end a cycle, but it's like you have to. Okay, we'll see what that's all about. On your person side, we have the Knight of Swords. Wow, and the Ace of Cups. So this could be somebody communicating something very emotional here, um, or just a conversation about new love from your person side here. Overall energy is the Five of Cups. Yeah, this is kind of like the energy I'm picking up for you, Cancer. Um, and of course, feel free to flip it if you're, you know, you could if you're not feeling this way. But I feel like for the Cancers that I'm speaking to. Um, there's a sense of loss, sadness, disappointment um, regarding love, reg regarding a specific person. Yeah, and there's a Ten of Swords right after that. So that makes sense. Let me get some energies here. Can I get some energies for Cancer? What do we need to know, Spirit, about the energies surrounding Cancer at this time? Oh my gosh, and the first card out is Deep Regret. Remorse, guilt, responsibility. There's regret over past actions. That's like the Five of Cups. So, you know, you could be feeling regretful or sad over the past, or your person is feeling this way. What else do we need to know, Spirit, for Cancer? True love. Love, union, coming together. The connection between you is genuine and true. Hmm, yeah, so this is about a specific connection that someone's feeling regrets over or someone's just you know still thinking about still dealing with the aftermath of whatever happened in a particular connection bottom of the deck we have falling leaves changes transition time time changes everything so maybe some time has passed here enough time for um people to be developing these feelings of like regret right because it's only after time passes that can, you can really look back and be like wow i really wish that things had been different or had you know occurred differently let's get some clear uh clarity here move these over here 
If you're curious about this deck, by the way, this is my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. So it's linked in the description box if you're curious. All right, Spirit, can we get some clarity, please, for Cancer? Guidance, please. Clarity for Cancer. Regarding these energies. Tell me about the Five of Cups. What do we need to know about this Five of Cups? The Fool. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like Cancer, some of you are either thinking about something new or maybe you're being pushed towards something new. And I, it's almost like what, whenever you think about the new, the future, you can't help but think about the past. I feel like some of you are also hoping for like a new start with someone from the past, perhaps. We'll see. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Cancer. Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like some of you, I mean, I'm getting this energy that a lot of you are being pushed into like a new cycle, but you're just thinking about what's already happened here. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Maybe this is an emotional tie. Yeah, and there you are, Cancer, the chariot at the bottom of the deck. And after that, the Two of Cups. So I feel like a lot of you are being, are headed in a certain direction, a new direction. The future beckons, right? Like there's something ahead for you. And I feel like I'm speaking to two groups of Cancer, Cancers. Um, one group, I feel like you're ready for something new. You're ready to have this new beginning. You're ready for a new cycle, but you have this lingering attachment to the past, an energetic attachment to the hurt that you have from the past. Maybe you haven't gotten the closure that you need or you think you need. And then the other group of cancers, I feel like you're very hesitant to move forward. Um, it's almost like the, the more you move towards this future, um, the less the past is like a possibility, if that makes sense. It's, it's almost like every time you think about the future and what's new, what's up ahead, what's around the corner, you can't help but think about, well, if I go there to that new future, am I closing the door on the past? Let's see. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirit? What do we need to know about this Three of Swords? The Moon and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Pisces energy with the Moon and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like whatever happened in the past here, whatever this um, difficulty was with the Three of Swords, um, I feel like there's a lack of closure. There's a lack of clarity with the Moon. Doubts, fears, illusions. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune is all about momentum. It's all about things that are happening in divine timing. Um, it's about fate. It's about fortune. It's about good luck. Um, but really, the wheel is always turning. So it's not always what we expect, right? Like sometimes the wheel is in our favor and sometimes it's not. And it's always turning. So I feel like things were meant to happen the way they happened in the past. But it's like you don't understand why it happened that way. Can I get one more, please, for this Three of Swords? Strength, Leo energy. Look at all this major arcana. This is like major shifts in energy. Leo energy with strength. I feel like someone's trying to get a hold of their emotions. Um, not have this be so overwhelming. I also get the sense that someone might be a little bit... I don't know. It, it's almost like there's there's almost like a forceful energy here. So I'm getting someone that cannot. I I, I don't want to even. I'm not even able to finish that sentence because it's it's not right. It's not that someone cannot understand. It's that they don't want to understand. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Because if you know, again, I, I'm 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 speaking to at least some of you that are watching this, that you don't want to let go of the past. And I feel like maybe it's even more painful to understand why it happened the way it did. I don't know. 
let me know in the comments if you can kind of like break that down for me because I feel like with strength here, you know, it could also be that someone's trying to have the courage to move past this. I can see that as well, you know, trying to be strong, strong enough to deal with this. But I, I'm just getting that also that other message of someone that it's almost like I don't want to, I mean, maybe you don't want to understand or have the clarity or have the closure because if you have the closure and the clarity, it's over, right? Tell me about judgment. What's this judgment? This is like present energy here. Ah, okay. Okay, Seven of Cups came out kind of reverse, so I'm going to take it reverse. And then I'm going to just take these top energies, because there's like plenty of cards here, but I'm just going to take the ones that are in the top. Nine of Pentacles, and then the Eight of Pentacles, okay, and then I'm just going to look at these. Page of Wands, Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Sun. Okay, well, the Nine of Swords is in worry, anxiety, Two of Pentacles. This is tied to a choice, I feel, a decision. Someone's worried, anxious about a choice they have to make here, or a choice they've made, a choice they have yet to make. And then the sun and the page of wands. This is about, I feel like someone looking to the to the brighter future. This could also be good news coming in with the sun and page of wands, especially when they're together. Um, something that makes you very happy to hear. Um, something that you're excited to go after. Um, eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Interesting. So the, uh, the nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles is someone that's really worked hard, put an effort, time into something. The self care, self improvement. This is somebody that, um, has been dedicated hard at work. You could be even improving in your career, your finances, your stability, but the seven of cups came out reverse. Seven of cups reverse. It could be a good thing. I feel like Seven of Cups reverse with judgment especially. It's like someone's no longer confused, no longer unsure about what choices they have to make, no longer, you know, no longer, uh, how do I say this? Um, because the Seven of Cups upright could be a card about illusion because not every cup is what it looks like it will be. It is almost like, all that glitters isn't gold, you know? Some cups look like they have a lot to offer, and then when you look closely, it's not a good cup. So sometimes when the Seven of Cups is reversed like this with a card like Judgment, which is all about realizations, um, it's like someone realized that something wasn't what they thought it was going to be and accepts that. Um, it could be that someone no longer is just seeing what they wanna see, and they're actually seeing things for what they are, and so they're better able to make decisions and choices and all that, especially with the Knight of Pentacles here. The Knight of Pentacles is like the little empress, the little queen of pentacles. And so, you know, they're thinking of themselves, what serves them best. So Cancer, I think what's happening here when I put all these energies together, it's almost like someone's going through some sort of growth period. Um, they're making a, a certain choice, a judgment call here that serves them best. Let me look at this Seven of Cups reverse a little bit closer. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So there could be an opportunity coming in. It could be a career opportunity um, or some other opportunity coming in that, you know, you're able to see it for what it is and able to make a better decision about it. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Three of Pentacles building working a new foundation yeah and then there's judgment so this is the message three of pentacles is about teamwork working together it could be a card that symbolizes work especially with the eight of pentacles this could be something like a job offer job opportunity promotion I feel like you're being rewarded. Some of you, you've been working on yourselves. You've been trying to overcome all of this energy. You're ready for something new, even though you're beat up or feel beat up, you know, and I feel like spirit is rewarding you or at least illuminating you because the judgment card is all about an awakening. You're getting an aha moment. You are seeing something for what it truly is. You're looking back at the past and you're learning from the past learning from your mistakes and you are ready now for the world because right before judgment is the world or right before the world is judgment. 
Can I get one more for this Seven of Cups reverse? Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Wow, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's something definitely new here. Yeah, and some of you might be a bit scared of it, but it's what you need. Again, with the Magician here, the Magician creates. They have the power to create, to manifest. So I feel like inadvertently you're calling something in and that's probably why the knight of swords is here with the ace of cups this could be somebody completely new coming in so why the four of pentacles again i'm getting that hesitant energy why is the four of pentacles here why is the four of pentacles here ten of wands yeah Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please, for Cancer. The Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups. The Magician. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Okay. Some of you need to be careful. Because you might miss an opportunity. What's behind that? Yeah, Five of Cups. Some of you, okay. This is such an interesting message, but some of you, I'm speaking to a cancer who is not sure about taking this opportunity or is not sure about leaving the past behind because I feel like as they move towards the future, they keep looking back. They keep looking back and they're way down. Ten of wands, they're way down. Some of you, there's a third party situation here where you're the person you're thinking about might already be with someone else. And I feel like you're waiting for something to happen there and you keep waiting for something to happen there that you're missing opportunities in the present. I think you're blocking your own manifestation because the Seven of Swords with the Magician, I don't like this energy, especially with the Five of Cups behind it. It's almost like whatever you're manifesting is going to lead to sadness or disappointment or whatever you're trying to create might lead to disappointment because there's something off there it's like maybe you're not seeing the situation for what it truly is or maybe you're not you're too you're so scared of a new opportunity that you don't realize that that's your future does that make sense i don't want to upset anybody but that's just kind of what i'm getting here let's see what this knight of swords is it's like someone's holding back because they keep thinking of the past tell me about the knight of swords And it could even be that the past is going to reach out with a message. No, this is this is a new beginning, a new start. Nine of Cups, the world, and then the Empress is here. It could also be, you know what else I'm getting here, Cancer? Now that I'm looking at all this energy, because I feel like a lot of the Cancers that I'm reading for, you have been putting in the work into yourself. You have been um taking care of yourself and improving yourself and working on yourself and i think you're recognizing your worth i think the issue here is that the past might return or the past has like a hold on you and some of you might want to get rid of it who knows but um i think there's something that's going to help you This, this could also be you meeting someone new. Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Three of Cups is like parties, events, networking, hanging out with friends, meeting others, getting together, get togethers, etc. So the Three of Cups with the Knight of uh, Swords here and then the Empress, it could be that someone recognizes your worth. But then that Ten of Wands is telling me that there's still kind of like a weight that you're carrying. And down here, this person could be somebody completely new, new love. And this could lead you down a happy new cycle with the Nine of Cups and the world. So let's see what's going on down here. Actually, let me get let me get one more energy for what's going on for you in love. Tell me about the energies surrounding Cancer when it comes to love. Spirit, what does Cancer need to know about the energies? Surrounding them in love. Second half of my despair. What else 
for cancer. Bad health. Yeah. There's something going on emotionally that I feel is it's like a crutch. It's it's a uh, Yeah. Cancer. And then there's sudden wealth, by the way, at the bottom of the deck, which is kind of like the Wheel of Fortune in this deck. But pathway is all about being on a path and you have a lot more to go, a long way to go. Okay, let's move down to your energies because I feel like I don't want to have to like beat a dead horse here. Um, tell me about the energies down here for Cancer and this other person. Tell me about the world and the Nine of Wands. For cancer wow the lovers and the nine of wands gemini energy yeah i feel like um a lot of you have like a soulmate waiting for you yeah and it's like you're you, you're resisting this or blocking this yeah there's the three of swords again and then the king of wands aries leo sagittarius cancer you know i don't want to be like a negative nancy or anything but i feel like some of you Without realizing, I feel like you're blocking a new cycle for you in love. Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, exactly. It's like something is coming in, you know, that would make you very happy. Nine of Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. And then here's the Ten of Swords. It's like you can't even... I feel like some of you might miss this, might not accept this offer, might not be open to this new beginning, new start, whatever this is, because of the, the Three of Swords, the Nine of Wands. Maybe, for example, some of you are still broken up or torn up about what happened with a specific person, and you haven't healed yet, which, you know, no judgment there. Time does, you know, it takes time to heal. Um, but I feel like some of you might not be emotionally ready for what spirit has for you just yet. I feel like spirit is trying to tell you that there is something up ahead, that maybe it's not back in your past, but in the future. Tell me about the, um, yeah, justice, Libra energy, okay. Something that's uh, fair to you, balanced, something that is just what you deserve, you know? Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Wow, the Four of Wands, beautiful. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Justice again, the Magician and the Page of Wands. Yeah, bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands. I feel like what is headed towards you, I don't even know if you know this person. I don't see anything here that specifically tells me that it's a past person. Um, I, ha I don't really see past energy here that has shown up, except for the main overall energy over here where I feel like there's been past heartbreak. Taurus, Libra energy. If you are dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, I guess you could interpret it that way. But Page of Wands is all about an initiative. It's about putting yourself out there. Queen of Wands is very bold. Queen of Wands, what she wants, she gets. And I feel like what you want is coming in. But I don't want you to close the door on it. You know? Spirit, what's the energy for Cancer with this Ace of Cups? What's the energy here for Cancer with this Ace of Cups? Looking inward, reflection, solitude, planning, and mirrored souls. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps, and then mirrored souls, you mirror each other in the special connection, soulmate, mutual feelings, fate, and then bottom of the deck, we have new beginnings. Exactly. I feel like a lot of you, there is a soulmate coming in that's new. Um, it's like this new energy that's trying to make its way to you. But I feel like you, without realizing it, without realizing it or maybe you do know, you're blocking the new. Because you're still either healing from the past or looking back at the past and waiting for something to happen with that. And I feel like, you know, you know, this, 
I feel like this is obviously for a specific group of cancers. This will not resonate for every cancer watching, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're sitting there and you have not been able to let go of this past energy and there's this new energy coming in, then be very aware because spirit doesn't just keep bringing stuff to you. You know, opportunities don't just come every day. And I feel like spirit is trying to give you the heads up here. Like, hey, there's a soulmate that I'm bringing you. <laughs> Are you going to be ready for them? Okay, so that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully this resonated. Let me know in the comments if you are ready for a new love, if you would love to receive this new soulmate, or if you're still healing from what's happened and still doing a little bit of self-care and work on yourself. Um, if you feel like sharing, I'd love to know. Uh, like the video if you enjoy how I read, if you enjoy this reading. Subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.